after we started using UiPath, the uh, one area that I did not expect that we will use UiPath for was uh, testing automation. We had Selenium scripts that were unmanageable, um, so we used UiPath testing manager to automate the entire process. And now we are able to manage them with our just our business analysts. So we see a lot of uh, promotional abuse in our industry, um, and we were able to leverage automation and AI to detect the right people at the right time and to take action on those accounts and close them within seconds, right? And I think leveraging automation enabled us to actually solve that problem versus just having AI to detect them. It could take us hours to action the customer's accounts and the money's left the business, right? So, you know, bringing those two together we're able to solve really big fraud problems within the business and you know that's in UK and Ireland now but we have multiple divisions across all geographies so imagine that's one we'll scale out and um, seeing millions of pounds in cost savings. Some of the new and unexpected use cases that came uh, uh, you know uh, uh, very recently first one is uh, with our learning and development team so Every year we do a lot of trainings for our executives that are, uh, you know, external uh, certifications and uh, external trainings where partners uh, from different companies come and, and train our executives. And uh, there are so many different companies, it's very hard for our learning and development team to, you know, constantly monitor, uh, you know, different invoices, different formats, uh, you know, who's taken how many trainings and so on and so forth. So we put the bot in place to do that. The other one uh, that I would really like to highlight is uh, with our order to cash team. We had about 8,000, 9,000 documents pending because there was no way they could ever finish the you know, checking. So they would just check the big dollar deals and, and get done with it. And uh, this came as a use case to us and document understanding again came to our rescue. Now, you know, uh, the bot goes in, pulls the document, checks both the signatures. If they are there, boom, done. If not, spits out a report and sends it to the team that these are the doc, uh, you know, contracts that are not signed. And it has made our life easy. And all those 8,000 that were in the backlog are all scanned, done. 